Play to earn gaming is on fire right now. Just look at Star Atlas. It did a 100X from its ICO price within just one week of listing. That's 100X in one week. Another example is Axie Infinity. It hit an all time high of $155 last week with an ROI that's return on investment of 1200X in the last year. And we feel that all of this is happening because these games offer players more control of their hard earned assets that they work tirelessly to acquire. And these games also give players the opportunity to make a living by earning cryptocurrencies and NFTs, non-fungible tokens while playing. In this video, we're looking at the next potential 100X play to earn gem, Gala Games. Does Gala have what it takes to potentially be the next Star Atlas or maybe the next Axie Infinity? And what do we think about the future price trajectory of this project? We are covering this one in detail. Let's get started. Hey guys, my name is Maddie, and we are Altcoin Buzz. We're a crypto investing research company. We've been in cryptocurrency for many years now. We're proud to be able to say that we've been making millionaires since back in 2017. Yes, there's been a little bit of luck, of course, but mostly we attribute that success to hard work, solid research, a lot of due diligence, and the fact that we've made some very public bets on investments like Ethereum, Binance, Cardano, Crypto.com, Engine, Matic Network, Chili's, Quant Network, Polkadot, Uniswap, and yes, many, many other 100X projects. If you guys don't want to miss out on the next potential altcoin moonshot, be sure to like this video, subscribe to our YouTube channel, Altcoin Buzz. Also hit the bell to receive notifications because let's face it, information in cryptocurrency can be very time sensitive. And by clicking the bell, you're making sure that YouTube alerts you every time Altcoin Buzz publishes new content. And a quick disclaimer before we proceed, any kind of investment, whether cryptocurrency or otherwise, does have corresponding risk. And as such, you gotta be careful and remember that this video represents neither financial nor investment advice. All right, with the housekeeping out of the way, let's discuss Gala Games. Gala Games is a blockchain powered NFT games platform which aims to empower players to take ownership of NFTs used in the games. The platform is actually one of the earliest movers in the play to earn niche since its launch back in 2020. Gala Games has a vision of building blockchain games that possess a certain quality to ensure the longevity of the games. So launching MVP type games, which are commonly seen in the play to earn space, does not fit Gala's plans. Gala ensures that the ecosystem belongs to player owned, player controlled games, and each game must offer something different to engage the audience accordingly. So in short, Gala Games wants to give players complete control over their games. The platform has a native token, Gala, that's G-A-L-A. -A. The token is the main digital asset within the Gala Games ecosystem for a variety of things, which includes purchasing in-game items, peer-to-peer -peer payments, reward nodes, etc. The token is also performing very, very well as of late. It's got a market cap of over $630 million and has rallied over 500% recently. The Gala token was built on Ethereum network and later switched to the Binance Smart Chain, making it easy for users to access Gala at a fee that just really is measured only in cents, pennies. Let's discuss the so-called triple proof network. The Gala node ecosystem is triple proof, that is proof of work, proof of stake, and proof of storage. POW or proof of work are founder nodes who are the early supporters of the network and have node licenses. Basically, a set of nodes secures the ecosystem of Gala, and that's called Founders Nodes. There is a maximum of 50,000 Founders Nodes, and users can also run Gala Nodes, which actually support the Gala network. In return, they can receive Gala and some rare NFTs. Take a look at this explorer. The latest daily reward for running one Gala node is close to $33 worth of Gala, not bad. Additionally, the node operators also earn NFT drops. And very recently, the team announced that in addition to daily Gala and NFT drops, node operators will also receive daily TownCoin rewards, the in-game currency for Townstar, a massive RPG, AKA role-playing game. If you want to get a node license, it's possible. It's not exactly something that's in everybody's price range, but you can do so by buying one for about $306,000. All right, let's talk about Gala Games value proposition. 
Did you know that since its launch in 2020, Gala Games has grown to 1.3 million monthly active users? Around 26,000 NFTs have been sold with the most expensive piece valued at about $3 million. So Gala Games is actually pretty similar to the popular gaming platform Steam because like Steam, Gala features a wide variety of games for users to pick and play. However, all games in the Gala ecosystem are 100% free to play and gamers can access them through a dApp, through a decentralized application. Let's talk about some of these games which are currently offered by Gala. Well, the first one on the list is Townstar, which is a town building and development game that allows players from all over the world to compete to earn NFTs. And the aim here is to create a productive town Quote, using limited space and initial resources, players must grow and expand their town, making the most of their AI workforces and crafting goods of higher and higher values. And Townstar is a browser game, so players can access it with their PC and mobile. The cross-device compatibility makes Townstar very popular among the Gala community. So this is in that kind of vein, you could argue that it's similar to Clash of Clans, for example. Again, cross platform compatibility is something that we always look for that's very important. And the fact that it's browser-based means that it's that much more accessible to the large audience out there that are craving this kind of entertainment. Next up on our list, we're looking at Mirandus. This is a fantasy role-playing game where players battle monsters in a variety of locations and build their land to earn revenue. In the game, players have absolute freedom of choice, which means they can set out into the wilderness alone to try their fortunes against the monsters or the deep woods and dungeons that lay out there, or they can serve as a knight in a monarch's court, maybe even set up a shop in one of the game's five great cities. It's all up to the player. Players can hold land and set up holdfasts ranging from small farms to massive cities. In Mirandus, you decide who you're gonna be and you can choose your quests in the epic fight against evil. Players can access Mirandus with their PC and the game is not yet available as a mobile version, but hopefully we'll be hearing more announcements and updates about that soon. Next up on the list of games that we're looking at is Spider Tanks. This is a multiplayer online battle arena game or a MOBA developed by Game Media. You can choose to play with friends or test your skills in high stakes competitions. Spider Tanks has a variety of play to earn features as well. Players can buy fully tradable in-game assets to upgrade their gaming experience. Right now, the game is not yet available to play, but should be expected for a Q4 launch this year. That's 2021. And finally, in this list of sneak peeks, we're looking at Echoes of Empire, which seems to be a potential Star Atlas competitor. So to set the stage, Echoes of Empire is an epic sci-fi strategy game set within a galaxy at war. Players can build, upgrade, and own a fleet of spaceships to control their galaxy, or at least their corner of the galaxy. And gamers can go solo or join up with teams to fight for scarce resources. This game is still in development. As you can see, we only have some stills that are available to preview right now, but will be available on PC. So as far as we see it, the best part about Gala Games is that it makes it easy for players to buy and sell in-game assets over its built-in marketplace. So you can sell your Townstar assets and buy Spider Tanks NFTs all in one go. And all NFTs will have six rarity options. Here's what the hierarchy looks like. So it begins with common, then it goes to uncommon, then rare, then epic, legendary, and finally ancient. And you can buy these NFTs with Gala, with G-A-L-A, -A, with Ethereum, or with B-A-T, basic attention token. This factor adds a constant demand pressure for Gala tokens. And let's put it into perspective. Most blockchain enthusiasts are apprehensive to get into new gaming projects. And this is simply because of the uncertainty around the long-term future of such new projects. As per the trend, new games replace some of the old ones, and this can go on for a long time. But with Gala, you're not investing in any one specific game, but rather a number of games, an ecosystem of games that keeps growing and which keeps evolving. And Gala is doing things differently. Gala Games has made a name for itself by doing things differently. For example, in August 2021, it distributed 8,888 VOX, that's V-O-X, for an average price of 0.888 Ether, which is a collectible NFT avatar of Gala Games. The whole drop sold in eight minutes, actually kind of serendipitously, which is a massive success. Gala had other drops in the past and aims to continue to do so in the future. 
Keep tuned to our news channel to stay updated about such developments and such drops. Of course, we will alert you to them if and when they happen. Let's talk a little bit about the team over at Gallic Games. So, Eric Schiermeyer, he's the man behind the project. He's got a reputation for working on cutting edge gaming, and he's the co-founder of Zynga, a popular mobile games company. Ever heard of online poker? Mafia Wars, maybe Farmville? These games were massively successful, and Eric played a major role in making these games and these projects a reality. Okay, now we discuss tokenomics. The Gala token has a circulating supply of 7.5 billion Gala, and a total supply of 35.7 billion Gala. It has a maximum supply of 50 billion tokens. Gala token is inflationary, and around 17.1 million tokens are released and distributed each day. Founders node operators can claim half of this gala, and the other half goes to the Gala Games conservatorship. It is a dedicated fund for ecosystem development, and each year on the 21st of July, the distribution of gala will be further halved, kind of similar to the mechanism behind Bitcoin's halving. The gala token has many use cases that create constant demand as well, and these range from purchasing in-game assets to maximizing in-game revenues. Gala is available on most of the major crypto exchanges. We're happy to say that Binance has a Gala USDT pair, which amounts to more than 50% of Gala's trading volume, of course, because if you've made it onto Binance, you've made it, right? It's a very popular site, and so that always pushes a lot of volume. You can buy Gala with KuCoin, OKX, Gate.io, and Uniswap as well. Are there any risk factors to consider? Well, it is an inflationary token. Gala does suffer from significant supply side inflation because just 14% of the supply is in circulation. And as we just discussed, more than 17 million new tokens enter circulation each and every day. So the market cap increases by $42 million each month due to inflation. In the short term, that's not necessarily a big deal, but it's not a great observation for the long term, in our opinion. Unfortunately, Gala also seems to be missing a white paper. Gala doesn't have a proper white paper at all, so we have to depend on their medium posts and support website for any kind of concrete information. Hopefully, they'll get this up and running one day, but to the best of our knowledge, no white paper currently exists. Furthermore, the developmental roadmap for the ecosystem is also in gray right now, kind of in a limbo stage. Will Gala ever deliver on its major promises? Well, so far, Gala has listed only five games and only two of them are available to play. Gala Games claims that the other games are in the developmental and beta testing stages, and we take them at their word when it comes to that announcement. One of their most fascinating games is Echoes of Empire, as we talked about earlier, which is quite similar to Star Atlas. We feel that potentially that one could be the largest of these games that we've discussed today, but it's also the one that's been developed the least. As an ecosystem, Gala doesn't have any stiff competition apart possibly from Mobox, but the games they offer face cutthroat competition. So what do you guys think about these gaming products? Do they resemble any other games you've played before? Let us know about them in the comments below and give us your thoughts as to whether or not these can really be major contenders in the AAA gaming space. What do we expect in the near future? Well, Gala Games is conducting a gaming summit on the 11th of December. The Galaverse Summit is very important for the platform and the Gala community is expecting major announcements at that time, again, December 11th. So fingers crossed and we wish these guys all the very best of luck. We also wish you guys, members of the Altcoin Buzz Army, all the very best of luck if you choose to invest. Again, not financial advice, but there certainly seems to be an opportunity here. There you have it, guys. Our thoughts on Gala Games, our honest take. Our takes are always honest, but uh, in this case, you know, there are some pros, there are some cons to consider as well. Benefits, advantages, disadvantages as well, to be fair. But that's what we think. This is definitely, uh, if managed well, a project with major, major potential. And we cautiously err on the side of optimism when it comes to great projects and great initiatives in this space. Guys, if you enjoyed this video, be sure to like, subscribe, and hit the bell to receive notifications. All the very best of luck if you do choose to invest. Stay safe, check out these other videos which should be popping up right about now. And as always, we do hope to see you again soon in our next video. Take care.